To all the listeners and welcome to the radio lessons. My name is Sede and I teach in Jojina Primary School in Thimpu. This program is for all the children across the nation. Today's lesson is an English lesson for class 2. The learning area is grammar and the topic is prepositions and we will be specifically looking at in, on and under. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to read the prepositions in, on and under, use the prepositions correctly and finally identify the prepositions in the paragraph. So you have already learned these prepositions in the earlier classes. So this lesson is like revision for you. So what is preposition? Preposition is a set of word or words that show location, direction, and time or introduces an object. Prepositions are words that show us the position, maybe in case of time or in places uh, or directions. So let us learn prepositions in, on, and under. And here are some examples. So you'll see there is a table and this table has three columns. The first column is in, the second is on, and the third one says under. In, on, under. The first picture, what can you see? Can you describe it? Yes, there is a bag and there's a book that's in the bag, right? So, what's in the bag? The book is in the bag. So this picture shows us the preposition in. Where is the book? The book is in the bag. Let's look at the second column. What do you see? You see some flowers. The flowers are in the pot. And where is the pot or the vase? We put the flowers in the vase. Where is the vase? It's on the table. Where is the vase? It's on the table, right? Let's look at the third picture. What do we have here? There is a dog and it is sleeping. Where is it sleeping? It's sleeping under the table. So where is the dog? The dog is under the table. Let's turn to the next page and do activity one. The instruction says, read the following sentences with prepositions. So we have pictures and sentences that describe the picture. And the sentences are using in, on or under one of these prepositions. So let's look at the first picture. What do you see? You see some books. And where are the books? The books are on the shelves. So the sentence reads, the books are on the shelf. Do you see the word on? It has been highlighted and it has been underlined. So the preposition used here is on. The books are on the shelf. Let's look at the next picture. There is a cat. The cat is drinking milk. And But where is the cat? The cat is under the table. So let's read the sentence. The cat is under the table. Do you see the word under? It has been highlighted and underlined. Let's read the sentence again. The cat is under the table. Let's look at the third picture. What do you see? Someone is having a bath, right? Where's the boy? 
The boy is in the tub. He's washing his hair, right? He's washing his hair. So let's read the sentence. It says, the boy is in the tub. One more time. The boy is in the tub. So the word in has been highlighted and underlined. And the final picture, we see some very happy girls in a car. Probably they are going for a nice drive, right? Let's read the sentence. The girls are in the car. One more time. The girls are in the car. So the word in has been highlighted and underlined. And that's the preposition. Turn to the next page and look at activity 2. The instruction says, answer the following questions using prepositions in, on and under. So, in, on and under are the keywords, okay? We have to use them as we write our answers. So, let's look at the first picture. What do you see? There is a puppy, right? And where is the puppy? It's in the box. So, let's read the question. Question one. Where is the puppy? I'm going to read the question again. Where is the puppy? And you're going to write the answer. Do you want my help? Okay, I'll help you with the first one. The puppy is in the box. So you have to write in full answer. You can't just write in the box. You have to say, the puppy is in the box. The question says, where is the puppy? The answer should be, the puppy is in the box. So, since I helped you with the first one, I hope you can do two and three. I'm not going to tell you the answer, but let's discuss and look at the pictures and talk about the pictures. Let's look at picture number two. What animals do you see? One is very big and the other one is quite small. There is an elephant and there is a bird. The question says, where is the bird? I'm going to read the question again. Where is the bird? So you have to tell and then you have to write the answer. Where is the bird? Let's look at the third picture. What can you see? You can see some shoes, right? A pair of sneakers. And where are the sneakers? Where are the shoes? They are. Where are they? Are they on, on the bench or under the bench? Okay, so let's read the question. Where are the shoes? One more time. Where are the shoes? So you have to answer that. Once you have finished answering these questions, you can always look back and see whether you have got your answers correct or not. On the next page, we have the self-check for learning. The instruction says, read the paragraph given below and underline the prepositions. So here is a short story, a very cute story. And you're going to take a pencil and underline all the prepositions that you see, especially the ones that we have revised today. In, on and under. What are the three uh, prepositions that we revised today? In, on and the third one is, that's right, under, in, on and under. So, let's read the paragraph together, shall we? Kado is a boy studying in class 2 in Rinchengang Primary School. He has three friends named Nima, Dawa and Karma. One day... He could not find his friends anywhere and he went to look for them. He walked in the forest and met a monkey who was on the tree branch. He asked the monkey, Did you see my three friends? The monkey said, Oh, yes. So he took Kado under a big tree and there he found his three friends. 
Karma was swimming in the pond. Nima was sleeping under the tree. And Dawa was playing on the bamboo mat. Kado felt very happy to meet his friends and he went to wake Nima who was sleeping under the tree. They all played together and went home happily in the evening. So, wasn't that a cute story? So here we have a story of a boy, Kado, and his three friends and how he lost them and then he found them. So it's a happy ending story. So read this story and your task is to underline all the prepositions, especially the key prepositions that we learned today, which are, can you say them with me? In, on, under. So if you can spot these three prepositions, you have to underline them. And that brings us to the end of the lesson. Well done, everybody, for your wonderful effort. Until then, be good and stay safe. Tu tu lu, meta mi bi nu.